Hey guys, it's Warren Hunter here, and, and I just wanted to take this time to wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, yeah, we're just coming up on the new year. Here, the new year, 2018, it's about like a few hours away, and uh, yeah, I just can't believe that we're already approaching 2018, and 2017 is already coming to an end. I mean, it, it really doesn't even feel that long ago since like 2017 started. Heck, it doesn't even feel, like, it really doesn't even feel that long since 2016 started. Yeah, the years just go by, like, so fast now. And so, yeah, I just wanted to wish everyone out there a happy new year. Hope, like, you did do have, a, like, a good new year. And I really hope that this year of 2017, you've had a good year. Yeah, just, yeah, 2017, yeah, this was a pretty big year. Some pretty big things happened. And so, yeah, just, yeah, the, the... Yeah, this was just like a pretty big year, and yeah, we'll probably, yeah, when we're just in for another big year with 2018, so, yeah, I just really just wanted to wish everyone out there a happy new year, and I hope that New Year's Day will be great for you, <laughs> whether what you do, whether you're working, whether you're staying home, whether you have the holiday off, yeah, just, yeah, whatever you do for New Year's Day, I hope the new year will be a good day for you. And so, yeah, and I, I just wanted to take this time, since, like, we're now coming up on the end of the year, here, and it's just about over, I figured I just wanted to make this video to just to, like, kind of, like, recap and just reflect on everything that's really happened with me over the year of 2017, because I've seen some other YouTubers do this at the end of the year when, like, at the end of the year, they just, like, make a video to just kind of reflect on everything that's happened with them over the year here to just like kind of just look back on everything that's happened with them and I figured that I would just try to give that a shot myself so yeah I'll just like just like go over like and just reflect on everything that's really happened with me over the year because yeah this year 2017 this was a pretty big year for me on YouTube like I did like quite the number of things this year here I mean I talked about a lot of things made videos on a lot of different subjects Objects dedicated a lot of months to a special subject, so yeah, I just figured that I would just take the time to just kind of like reflect a little bit on the whole year for me. All right, so yeah, let me just like go over the year. So yeah, the year started off a little slow for me, but yeah, as you can see, you like I changed like my wall background behind here. Like I got like the Spider Man comic actually at the end of last year, but yeah, I've got like this new other. Marvel portrait and also like this Death of Superman comic portrait up there. Yeah, so yeah, I kind of changed the wall backing for my videos. Yeah, yeah. And over the year, like I did like a number of retro wrestling pay per view reviews. Like I re reviewed Unforgiven 2002, Vengeance 2003, Backlash 2004. I uh, did a uh, Bash at the Beach 1996, SummerSlam 2008, No Mercy 2000. In the Survivor Series 2004, I did a review for the Hart Family vs. Shawn Michaels in this night's match from Survivor Series 1993 and Armageddon 2003. So, yeah, I did like, quite the number of retro wrestling pay-per-view reviews this year. And also throughout the year, I did all, a lot of other things too, like... Like, I did a video, like, talking about, like, a case on Judge Judy about, like, how... Just how heartless a person could be after, like, this really... He, like, outraging case, and so, yeah, I made a video about that. Also did the video, like, giving my thoughts on the Royal Rumble this past year, which was basically just two matches, but the WWE title match and the Royal Rumble match. Okay, and I also did a video on child molestation. Asian, yeah, and that seemed to, like, have a positive reception overall. I guess people did like what I had to say about it. It really was, like, a different subject, and I just wanted to really get my thoughts on that, and people really seemed to like that. And, and then, yeah, I also, like, throughout the month of March, I dedicated it to a whole bunch, really dedicated it to Power Rangers in honor of the new Power Rangers movie. I just did a video on a, well, I just, like, throughout the month, I made, like, a bunch of videos talking about, you know, like, certain Power Rangers subjects, including reviewing the two original films and giving my thoughts on the new film. And also, I did a few videos to, like, giving my thoughts on some new movies being re that were released the year I did it for, like, the Power Rangers movie, as well as, uh, Logan and Spider-Man Homecoming. Homecoming and, uh, the new Jumanji movie, so, yeah, I did, like, a few of those. And I also, like, I also did give my thoughts on WrestleMania this year, which I thought was overall a good show. You know? and then, of course, like, in May, I did what I usually do. Where I do something special for the entire month of May. 
And this year, I, for May, I did review, like, all the Star Trek movies. Movies, and yeah, it was really the first time that I really have, like, really watched a lot of them before. And so, yeah, now I can really say that I have actually watched, like, every Star Trek movie in history. Okay, so, yeah, that was an interesting thing for me to do. And I also did a video, like, listing the top ten greatest movie composers, which consisted of, like, John Williams, Danny Elfman... And, uh, Alan Silvestri, Jerry Goldsmith, James Horner, yeah, and, yeah, other com composers, yeah, I did a video just listing those. Those, and then I also, like, did kind of a sequel countdown to, like, the count I made last year when I did, like, reviews for my picks for the top ten best hand-drawn anime Disney movies. This year I did it for my picks for the top ten best live-action Disney movies, which... It, yeah, it did seem to overall have a pretty positive reception. I guess people really did like what I had to say about them. And then also, like, heading in, into July, when the month started off, I reviewed the original three Spider-Man movies in honor of Spider-Man Homecoming being released, which, like I said earlier, I then, like, talked about Spider-Man Homecoming, giving my thoughts on that film, which I really did love. And then throughout the rest of the month of July, I then made reviews for the entire Land Before Time series, which people really did seem to really like that. I mean, you know, they really did get, like, quite the number of views, and I was actually surprised at how well they did. I mean, I guess people really do like what I, when I talk about the Land Before Time movies, because back when I did that video a few years ago, listing the top 12 best Land Before Time songs, it really did, like, explode with views. It has, like, over a thousand views, I think, like, close to 2,000, maybe. And so, I guess, like, people really did do like hearing me talk about the Land Before Time movies, because, yeah, my reviews for those movies, like, really did get a lot of views. I guess there are more people that like the sequels than is really let on, so, yeah, my, my Land Before Time reviews really did have, like, a real positive reception overall and really did pretty well. Awesome. And then I also, like, started a new video series this year with the rise and fall of movie careers, which I only have done one so far, talking about Macaulay Culkin. And yeah, I do, I can do, like, a, some more in 2018. Like I said before, there's, like, well, I don't, forgot if I actually did say it in that video, but yeah, if there's any actor that you want me to actually make a video about that subject on, then yeah, you can just let me know what actor you really would like me to talk about with like an actor that really did have a big career and then their career just like basically just like collapsed yes, yeah I mean if there's someone you want me to talk about that is as kind of like a history like that you can just let me know what actor you want me to do it on and also I did a video talking about how I lived like really close to where a movie was made or where a movie was filmed rather which of course was eight-legged freaks which yeah people really did seem interested in me talking about that yeah and i also did a video talk yeah, about like my picks for the top 20 best cereal commercials which i just thought was an interesting video oh i mean there really i really didn't see like a lot of people really doing that and i just thought it was an interesting topic so i just wanted to do that and yeah and then and in october for halloween like in honor of halloween i did like my classic monster movie reviews which i like filmed in black and white which yeah i just like filmed in black and white cause, just because i thought that would be interesting to do since like all of those classic monster movies were in black and white i just thought it'd be interesting to like in an homage to them i would like make like a i would just like film all of them in black and white in honor of that which i just thought was an interesting idea so yeah yeah man yeah those film yeah and Really, those reviews, they really don't have a lot of views yet, so, yeah, you can still, like, go and check them out. Like, it's still open for anybody to check them out if you want to see them, because, yeah, they really didn't get a lot of attention, but, yeah, if you really, like, feel free to go watch them. I mean, yeah, I really make these videos for you guys to enjoy, and so you can watch them and get some enjoyment out of them, so, yeah, feel free to just go check those out, because, yeah, I really you do, do make these videos for, like, all you people, like, subscribe to me, yeah. And then... And, uh, throughout, and then, like, late in the year, I also, like, made a couple of videos addressing Kip Piney Camera and Angry Grandpa after, like, hearing about it, the condition Angry Grandpa was in as well as when he died. And, yeah, it just was a really sad thing. And I also did a video just to also, like, address Kip Piney Camera's brother Charlie lashing out at him. I'm sorry if, like, there were some people that really, like, were kind of upset with me doing that. But, yeah, I was just, like, really, like, so pissed off of how Charlie had reacted to uh, the news of angry grandpa's condition and i just really couldn't hold back and i just had to address him so i'm sorry if anyone got offended by that but i just couldn't hold back on that yeah
And then I also hold in November I did the the uh, my reviews for my picks for the top ten best anime DreamWorks movies, as well as giving my thoughts on the. Um, all the sequels and spinoffs to any of the films I talked about, which I think, like, people really, like, work, like, like, I guess there was some, there was, like, enjoyment gotten out of that, because, I mean, yeah, it seems like people did kind of, like, tune into those, those enough, and so, yeah, I just thought that it would be interesting to do that, since I did it with the Disney movies twice, yeah, and then, of course, I just finished off the year with my Christmas movie reviews for, like, doing it for a fourth time since I... I've had this channel on YouTube, YouTube, and yeah, as well as going reviewing the original Jumanji, G with, and also giving my thoughts on the sequel, which I talked about earlier, which was just like a couple of videos ago. So, yeah, and of course, like this year, I also did like finally hit over a hundred subscribers. Yeah, I mean, I've had this channel for, like, just about, like, six years. I think I'm coming on six years of having this channel. So, yeah, I finally, this year, did hit over 100 subscribers. And I'd like to thank everybody that has subscribed this year. I mean, when the year started, I had, like, I think, like, 80 or 90-something subscribers. And now I'm, like, about at 135. So I want to thank everybody for for whoever did subscribe this year everyone that did subscribe i want to thank everyone and yeah this really has just been a really like big year and yeah there will still like be plenty more to come in 2018 with a bunch of other videos with ideas videos that i may have for videos so yeah the year was like pretty big for me with like gaining all these subscribers and like like some of my videos like really doing like getting like a lot of views particularly with the lame before time reviews so yeah, man, I really, this really was, like, a pretty big year for me on YouTube, so, yeah, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed, and, yeah, I just want to thank everyone who actually did tune in throughout the year for me, and so, yeah, this just really was, like, a pretty big year, so, yeah, thank you, to all you that really did su for supporting in my videos for, like, the whole year, and, yeah, just, like, once again, just want to wish everyone a happy new year, I mean, yeah, this is really just, like, been like such a fast year that's gone by I uh, and yeah the next year will probably like 2018 will probably like just come to the end of the year like before we even know it like the year just go by so fast now so yeah just yeah this was just like a pretty big year so yeah happy new year to everybody hey whether like regardless of when you're watching this video whether you're watching this on new year's eve whether you're watching it on new year's day or yeah even if you're just like watching it like after the like after new year's day and like we're like a few days into the new year so yeah happy new year to everyone enjoy the new year hope you did like enjoy this year and yeah just we'll have plenty more years to come um so yeah happy new year to everyone i hope everyone has a great new year so yeah and thanks to everyone that has supported or didn't subscribe to me this year so yeah happy new year to everyone enjoy the new year so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later